I am gonna miss that my voice sounded slightly higher pitch. Now it sounds normal. Anyway, and now we're in the darkness. I hope you can't hear the squeaking in my chair too much. But my uh, this chair is from IKEA and it sucks now. A little fucking nub fell off and I I can't I can't stand it anymore. This is the space station. Yeah, look down there. Don't wait. Don't look. Don't look. It's scary. Don't don't do that, son. Okay, so this is a space zone, as the boy said. Wow, we're really in our space. Oh yeah. What about air? Well, you're in waveform. You don't need air. Oh, that's how they explain it. But who knows if there is any real air in the real world? I don't even know what he said there. But then I can't turn back now. Forward is the only way I can go. To the chest. Uh, this game has like chests never all the time. It's locked. Ah oh, shit, I don't have any more keys. Whoa. On the monitor in blue letters is a message. Help me. 8413 kahertz. That's weird. I wonder if it's a reference to something. On the monitor in yellow letters and a message. Frequency 9816 kahertz. I read it extra six because I like number six. On the monitor, it's the same thing. So. Okay. Do, 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 do. Frequency. What the fuck are all these things? Why is this shirt on the ground? Emergency oxygen tanks. What? Well, looks like they're empty. Well, I guess we're gonna die. Okay, I guess we're not. Alright, let's open the door. What card? What card are you talking about, boy? Is it really this guy? Uh, okay. Alright, key man, do your thing! Um. Ah, shit. Open sesame. Um. Uh, okay, open door. Open sesame, no good. No. I have to read something first. Isn't that the worst thing? Okay. I'm really good at doing this kind of thing. So, 9861, yes. Red frequency. Oh, wait. Arg. Alright, let's get back out of here. Okay, I guess I have to. Okay. <coughs> You know, I might have very small number of viewers and subscribers in that order, and uh, but at least I know how to hide the mouse. <laughs> okay, what did it say? Two eight two one eight three kurtz. Shout out to Super Mega. They're okay, I guess. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're probably gonna be like, Wow, who are you, you little shit? How about I come over there and kill you? Was it 2183? Oh, it says to me. Yay, I did it. I'm smart. So I guess I'll go down the list of uh, topics here. I need that spacesuit. Oh, I guess not. What, a, what was the point of this? Oh, okay. That was the point of this. <coughs> okay, here's my quick review of Sonic Forces. It'll write, I guess. Well, here's the thing. It was very disappointing. I will totally say. Shit, I didn't mean to go in there. I thought that a lot of the modern Sonic gameplay, I guess, was going to be based on the very kind of technical bits from... Sonic Unleashed, 
Or you're like turning the corners by like turning into a ball and drifting and shit. That looked really cool. And it, I think it was a bit m less narrow in Unleashed Day Stage levels. Levels. This is when I'm fucking talking, I'm smiling, and it makes everything a sauna run. And I fucking didn't pick any fucking things. Well, it's a little witch man. That's, that's funny. And, uh... Honestly, I could do without Classic Sonic integration into the 3D Sonic games. Because when they made... What's it called? Generations. It, he was there for, like, celebratory... Um, it was an anniversary thing. That was the whole idea. And he's like... I think in Generations... It was implied that he was from another dimension, but I don't know. I, I don't really like that much. I, I like it as he's a version of Sonic from the past. That just makes sense. But oh, it's Sonic from a different dimension. Anyway, a dimension he was like not shitty, I guess. And uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I could do without the classic Sonic stages because when they made Sonic Mania. That, to me, shows, okay, they're treating them as separate entities. They're probably not going to mix them in with an, another modern Sonic game. Because at this point, he would just be forcing it in. Ah! And, uh... But, I kind of already should have guessed that. Since, uh... He was in the teaser trailer for Sonic Forces back at E3. But I honestly wish I should have just left him out and put more modern Sonic levels and the custom character, I guess. The custom character is conceptually is not that bad as I was expecting. I was expecting like very limited uh, customization and just like... But there, I was expecting their stages to be super boring, I guess. But I was actually pleasantly surprised. I still wish that like the the general gameplay of the stages, if this makes any sense, um, all the stages feel very narrow, kind of like hallways, I guess. And what they want to play off as replay value is that as a custom character. You can go back and play the level with a different weapon and take a different path, but the thing is, there's only one optimal path. Or you, you so let's say you're playing with the the fire weapon, and every round of the level, you see that like they made parts of this with the electric whip in mind, the magnet ring thing, and you can't do anything with the fire thing, so. In order to get S rank or do any of the cool stuff, you might as well just quit the level or come back with the electric thing. And uh, a friend of mine pointed out, well at that point you're not playing the game, you're just watching it go with the, the power up. And that I also agree with. Um, because you're doing less in the stage when it's, when you're just watching I guess in, with the whip in particular, um, it still requires input when you're using what the the flame burst where you do multiple hops and shit. And you know it's weird that they don't even have a laser gun with the laser color power up, but oh, whatever. And there's the uh, the cube, which I never use the cube in a level. I thought the cube was lame. Um, but there's tons of like uh, quick mission things. It's not okay. What I was worried about is that the missions were gonna be like those mandatory crap that were in Sonic Generations, but they're more like uh, they're more like achievements that you would see in an app or something, an app game. Okay, where am I supposed to fucking go? That uh, it's like play this level as a cat or something you do that you get the achievement and that, that that's pretty much it but 
Nowhere in the game does it stop you and say, hey, do some missions first before you can continue. That, I think, is the worst. Um, so, I guess the... I can talk about the pacing real quick. The, uh, the game is very fast. There's only like 30 or so levels. Not including the extra stages. Because there's extra stages. Um, but uh, you kind of breeze past everything. And that's one of the gripes I kind of have is that the game is really short. But I think that could have been fixed with just a little bit more time. And uh, the other thing that kind of disappointed me was that there's no... Okay, the bosses are lame as fuck. And uh, Zavok's boss fight is lame. Metal Sonic's boss fight is lame. A lot of the bosses, the running bosses, they... They're based around you getting boost, catching up, and then hitting them three times, but they have a health bar, but it's still do it three times. It's not like you can go up to the boss and hit it whenever you can because you're getting good at the game. It's that, oh, you run out of boost, so the boss is going to move forward or all the way back there. And I don't know, it's just dumb. And uh, what else? Okay, you know, they, they put up all the characters, or the villains, I guess, in the intro. It shows them all defeating Sonic and everything, right? Okay, two out of five of those guys are not even bosses. Chaos isn't a boss. F fake Shadow, spoiler, isn't even a boss. So, like, why are you even... Those could have been extra levels, you know? And the game wouldn't have been so short. Okay, please, I need to move. Okay, you need to go in there. That's what I need to do. And, uh... God, what else? I'm sending my bad babs. The bad babs? What do you mean by that? Bad babs. There's something bad up ahead. Okay, great. Thanks for telling me. I guess if you don't think about it, it's our enemy's home turf. It would be odd if they weren't here. Anyway, be careful. And don't let your guard down. Let's go, Roger that. Copy. And, uh... Anyway, the thing that bugged me is that... All the levels... The, the theme is all over the damn place. It, it's just... Stages. With really bland names. What am I even doing? Wow. What did they want you to do? Confirming... Nope. I, I wonder if it's an actual constellation. Okay, fine. I'll come back. Ah, crap. Like... It, it doesn't go from Green Hill to level 2, level 3, you know. It doesn't have, like, its own w stages. I don't know how to explain this. The structure is just weird. And one stage you'll be going to the city, the other stage you'll be going to a jungle. But they're all just, like, generic names. It's like, The Jungle, or Aqua Road, or the city or the park it's like there's no you know when i took it to my friend's house jesus and he was like just show me the city escape and i was like i i couldn't do it i i mean i picked a level i said well this is the level they said to show to e3 i i couldn't find this game city escape there's no like just good level that is just the most fun. They're all kind of the fucking same. Um, I don't know where I'm going. Can't go here. Um, like, I guess 
that argument I just said is the same as Sonic Adventure 2 or something. But, um, I don't know. There's no good structure. Uh, okay, here's my point. Imagine if, uh, in Sonic Generations, level 1 was Green Hill Zone, level 2 was, like, Crisis City, and they were all single stages. There was no, like, axe to anything. Like, it, it, it's just kind of all over the place. Like, you don't ever spend time in a location. Like... I think the closest I kind of get is the the casino jungle place. There's like one or two levels with that setting. And uh and no space. The fucking there's a level called no space. I should not even say level. It's it's the name of the level. But you go there and everything looks kind of cool and it's all like purpley and pixely and everything is all weird. But immediately leave after that the little platinum fucking cutscene i don't know what else to call it it's the thing where you do the quick time event and you go and you don't really do anything is this an actual constellation what the fuck am i doing here anyway you go to no space and you immediately get out it lasts like 10 seconds and it's really disappointing and uh Levels are actually really fast. They they're like two minutes or so long. Um, that I'm kind of grateful for. It's it's not like the recent or not, not even the recent games. So yeah, uh, the middle of the 3D Sonic game life cycle, where levels are like 40 minutes long or half an hour or something. They, it's kind of the flip-flop of that, but I wish to accommodate that they made a little bit more levels. Because uh, I appreciate that the levels are shorter, but there's also less levels. Or there's not as many. So it's like, I kind of wish there was a little bit more. But it is how much it is. It's not like a $60 game. <coughs> <coughs> It's not like a $60 game, and it feels a lot less. They, it, it's, it's as much as $40, I guess. That I'll say. Um, the final boss is lame as fuck. It's like, it's the Death Egg robot, but all powered up and weird. It's like tentacle arms. Um, you know, I don't know why they, s even though I expect this, I, 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 I expect this because I like it in the games, when there's special stages, and you get the Chaos Emeralds, and you go, you beat the final boss as Supersonic, you get the Super Secret ending, and it's fun. That is fun. It, they did it in like almost every game. Except for the 3D ones, where they usually just make it part of the plot and the final boss is something supersonic. Okay, so you beat the Death Egg Grovok at the end of the game. It's very aggravating when they put, like, it's a, it's a narrow game, like I said. But they put things behind you sometimes in most of the levels. And it's really hard to just turn around because that's not what the stage is made for, or the camera, or the whole engine anyway. And uh, sometimes you can't just look behind you and attack an enemy to make a thing fall down and so you can leave. But, um. God, I gotta. I can't leave either. Why would they just. Oh! I'm an idiot. Okay, I got it. Anyway, the final boss of Sonic Forces, since there's no, like, end game, there's no Final Chaos Emeralds or Super Sonic or anything, everything just kind of feels underwhelming. And, uh, it, it's, 
the last part is like exactly the same as uh I'll, I'll if i can find it i will put them side by side but the final boss of that is like the exact same of sonic colors it, it's like this dragon looking thing with like tentacle mouth things and it's like shooting lasers at you it, it's just it's like the same fucking fight and it was really mad at that part it was like this is what this is all been leading up to like this is like a dud it, the entire game doesn't suck i just wish more parts of it were emphasized instead of you know classic sonic being in there because i i like the boost mechanic um i watched someone else's video kind of talking about how uh when they use the boost in other games it's not too it, it's not there's no part in level that's uh based around you using it it's there to give you an extra boost of speed when you're about to slow down or something. And people use that according to how they want to use it. It's not like they're being railroaded into using a boost. Like, there's levels in uh, Sonic Forces where they put like a boost capsule and uh, it's a, like a row of enemies. It's like, okay, this part was obviously made for the boost. It's not like, uh... It's not like some levels and generations, I would say, where it, you can get through the part without the boost. It's not, like, totally control... I don't know how else to say this. It doesn't feel forced. <laughs> I like it how it does in Sonic Forces. Are you dead yet? Okay, because here's the thing. I gotta fight all these bosses again. Ah! And, uh... There's really not much else to do after the game. Because you beat it, and they give their little fucking... Heartfelt goodbye, and... The really forced message at the end there. It's like, we need to fix the world that we all live in. And I can just hear Kyle going, or no, San to the side going like, yeah. Because it was such a cliche, not even cliche, it's just, it, it's not, it doesn't belong in Sonic. You know, it's, Sonic is about like stupid shit. Not that kind of stupid shit that I would fucking see in there. No, I'm trying to leave you, fool. Anyway, I'm going to save the next part for next time because this is well, way too long. I'm trying to talk about Sonic Forces. Also, I'm trying to stop coughing, but I can't do that either. Jesus Christ.